Welcome back. Tonight we are getting a behind the scenes look at one of the biggest tools in the fight against the coronavirus here in Tampa Bay. A clinical and research lab is breaking down the COVID virus found in patients and identifying which variant of the virus is showing up. News Channel 8's Marco Villarreal was in the lab earlier today and shares why this is so important to have right here in the Bay Area. Marco. Well, good evening. You know, I'm told by scientists here at TGH that the more you know, the better. The quicker you know, the more chance you have at beating the deadly coronavirus. Inside Tampa General Hospital's esoteric research lab, a team of scientists and researchers are working every day to better understand the COVID-19 virus. We work like with very specialized techniques, molecular techniques. The doctors in this lab realized shortly after the pandemic started, they didn't have to wait for labs in other states to diagnose patients with coronavirus. They could do the testing here. As the world caught up with commercial testing in late 2020, lab scientists learned they could use their next generation sequencer to find out which variant of the virus was showing up in patients. Soon, they upgraded to bigger machines, increasing testing capacity by more than 500 percent. What's the variant you're seeing the most right now? Delta. Delta continue to be the dominant one here. Any Omicron yet? No, not yet. Having sequencing and knowing where the virus is headed gives health leaders time to plan as a community and as a hospital. It identifies unusual trends. Understand where the virus is going and what we need to do next. I don't know if I'm nervous, but, uh, but I'll not lie, we are all a little anxious. While scientists wait for Omicron to show up here in the Bay Area, they feel ready when it does. And I'm also confident that if it is here, we'll know what to do because we learned a lot over the last two years and, uh, and I think we are prepared. And the hope for this lab is for it to continue to grow and for it to become a world-class center that will allow it to protect Tampa Bay and humanity against evolving threats in the future. Reporting live in Tampa, Marco Villarreal, 8 on your side.